it's the internet. You're busy. Let's look at some peripherals, bags, carrying cases, and everything else for the Nintendo Switch. Nintendo Switch's new handheld slash home console is is nice. Hey, I got a, a new update. Oh man, I want to. I'm just gonna install it right now. Barring any other distractions, let's get right into it. Uh, Nintendo's new handheld system is very cool. It's very neat, but. I think this screen is maybe a little prone to scratching, especially if you are putting it into the uh, dock without care. But even if you're going out and about, if you put this in your bag and with your keys or something, it could get scratched, it could get messed up, and there's a lot of options out there on the market for protecting it and for getting the most out of the system. So what we're going to look at today is primarily uh, add-ons, bags, peripherals, all that kind of stuff from Snakebite and from Power A. Let's start with the Snakebite stuff. Um, some of these things I'm not wild about, like the headsets, kind of just a, feels like a little bit like a cheap uh, cash-in, really. It, the box, the the, care, the case for this has some Nintendo Switch branding on it, but nothing about this stands out as something specifically for the Switch. It's just kind of like a cheap headset, maybe like one of those um, Skull Candy headsets, one of those. It's, it's nothing, nothing major. Um... But it does come with this carrying bag, um, and that's for the headset. Now, Snakebite also has this soft carrying case, which has like a, a the zipper that opens in the middle, and you kind of just try to slide the system in that way. Um, this one, it's 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 okay, it gets the job done. But what I really like from Snakebite is their starter kit. Their starter kit is this harder leather case, which has a, a zipper around the outer edge. It comes with the analog nubs, these little things you could put on the uh, analog sticks to give them a little bit more grip. Um, these ones aren't the, these aren't um, exactly like uh, what, what is the company that makes those uh, the really nice grips that can add a lot of height to stuff. Um, I'm blanking on it right now, but it's not quite as good as those. These are just kind of you know just s simple little add-ons. But the starter kit comes with a lot of other stuff. It comes with you know decent. Uh, headphones, uh, you know, earplugs, earplugs, earphones, a screen cleaner, which I, I love. I love having a wipe to really make sure that the screen gets clean. And this won't scratch it. It's that, like, microfiber material. Um, it also comes with, let's see here, a carrying case for two games and screen protectors. Now, I'm not a big, I'm not a big screen protector guy, but I have been considering putting one on my Switch because I do have one scratch on the left side of my screen. It's not on the screen itself. It's on the bezel of the screen. But, um, you know, and I can only think that it did come from the dock itself. So I'm like, I'm actually considering putting on a screen protector. And I never do that with my laptops, with my phones, with my tablets, anything like that. I really hate the way they feel. But, you know, whatever. Um, let's move on to the peripheral, or the, not the peripherals. The, like, uh, the carrying case from Nintendo itself, I believe this is, yes, uh, this is the case from Nintendo itself. I like this. Um, it's real nice, but I actually prefer going with Power A stuff. Power A's got a nice, huge Nintendo Switch branded bag. Uh, now, I, I don't love branding on my, on my, st on anything, really. Um, I'm not... I don't love wearing shirts that say, like, the video games I like or even, like, the bands I like or whatever. Um, but this, I think, was, still looks pretty classy. Uh, and you could, I think you can get away with having this out in public and not be like, oh, you, you look like a, a big man child. Um, I think it looks nice and professional, uh, you know, outside of the branding. Uh, and it's, it's useful. So there's this pouch on the back. Um, and it, ha it comes with a, a strap so you can carry it over your shoulder. Uh, but what I really like is like how everything is organized in here. So here is where you put the switch itself. And that includes this uh, sort of nylon hard cover, uh, hard carrying case. Um, and then you, you put your system in there and you close it up in here. So it's nice and secure. It's not going to get jostled around. I like that. The Power Ray also has this really nice uh, sort of extended stand. Now, this will protect your screen. It is a, a fold-over screen protector. Um, but I, the problem with this is that it makes it hard to use in portable mode. It's, but it is excellent for, and I'll kind of try to show you here, for tabletop mode. If for some reason, like, you're on a plane and you want to have 
protection and you want to have a way to play it without it falling over because of that cheap kickstand this works it's like a like an ipad case almost um and it you know has various uh, various various uh options for how it'll sit up it could be like really f- like perpendicular to the uh, table or it can kind of tilt up more which is something the kickstand on the switch can't do and i really like this for that um other things in here there is a little pouch right here for like extras like the uh the straps and then there's a place for the games um you know i have three games here i've got one two switch just dance and bomberman all just sitting right here in my in my uh carrying case and i it's just very convenient now if i were to travel with my system i probably wouldn't want this whole big thing because there's not room for other stuff but if I am specifically taking my system with me to go play at someone else's house, I would definitely want something like this. This is very cool. It is very useful. And honestly, just having it to like store all the extra stuff in, in a one secure place inside my house, that's nice. Instead of just having to settle for putting them in a drawer or something like that. Uh, so I, I really like this case a lot. I think Powerade did a really good job with that. Finally. Power A has two other things that uh, they sent me to take a look at. One is the Joy-Con charging dock. This is a four Joy-Con charger. So you can charge four Joy-Cons on this all at once and then have two more on your system. So that could be six charging all at the same time. Um, it has its own USB-C cord there on the bottom. And uh, I believe that's just connected right there in there. And that's going to, you can connect this, plug this in via, via USB, plug it into your system plug it into the wall, and you could set this up right next to the system to have the Joy-Cons charge. Then there is the comfort grip. And the comfort grip I like a lot. So let's actually test this out. Something about this is a little bit more comfortable than the grip that Nintendo has, even the charging grip Nintendo has. I'm going to break that out real quick. So the difference is, I think, is that the uh, the grips on the back here are bigger and, the, and they uh, sort of have more of a emphasis on the bottom where you're really holding it. These ones sort of just kind of have, they just kind of uh, tail off and they're slippery and they don't feel great. This one almost feels like a real controller uh, much more than Nintendo's standard grip. But I think if you are having difficulty with your Joy-Cons and they don't feel great and you don't want to spend a lot on a pro controller, which I would still recommend, I think, um, this is going to get the job done and it's going to feel a lot better than what Nintendo has made for themselves. It kind of gets me excited to the idea that maybe we could get a lot more uh, sort of docks for these controllers. Nintendo could do a ton of variations themselves that could be a lot more comfortable than, than what they've made standard. Uh, that And that's, I, mean, I don't know, that's what I'm excited about. I really hope that they come through with that. Um, so yeah, but Power A is del- delivering something right here that I think is an improvement. Uh, so yeah, I, I think that's going to do it. Those are basically everything that I have to go along with my Switch right now. If I were to like kind of go quick over quickly with the things that I recommend, it would be the, the Comfort Grip and the Power A carrying case. I really like those. Um, I Maybe the Snake Bite starting, starting Kit, I think that could be useful to some people. Um, but if you buy a lot of that stuff piecemeal, you could end up with better stuff, better, qu- higher quality carrying cases, screen protectors and stuff. Um, but maybe you don't want to deal with that. If you do want to just have it all in one simple package, snake bites thing is just fine. Okay, everybody. Thanks for watching. Jeff Grubb, Games Beat. I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.